In this lesson, I'll show you how to determine the degree of a term or expression. The degree of a term refers to the integer part or exponent to which the variable is raised. The term degree is used only when the exponents are positive, in other words, non-negative integers. You can say that a constant term, let's say a number being added to an expression, has a degree of zero. But you would not say that x to the power of half, for example, is a half degree term. Keep that in mind. Let's start with question one. State the degree of each term. Here we have four individual terms. 2x would have a degree of 1. And the reason for that is because x is raised to a power of 1, even though it's not written. We assume that it's there. Next, we have 7z to the power of x. This one's interesting because the exponent itself contains a variable. Therefore, this one has a degree of x. Next, we have 3 times x to the power of 2. The degree of this term is 2. And finally, 5 times y to the power of 9. This has a degree of 9. Let's move on to question 2. In question number 2, they ask, what is the degree of each term or expression? Our expression here is 6x to the power of 3, y to the power of 2. To figure this one out, you have to add the degrees. So we have 3 here, and we have 2 here. 3 plus 2 is 5. This is a fifth degree term. And in our last example, this is actually an expression. It's not a term. We have two terms in an algebraic expression. To figure this one out, you have to find out the degree of each term. So we have 17x to the power of 2. The degree here is 2. And over here, the degree is 5. You don't add 2 and 5 together. Instead, you pick the highest one. So this is a fifth degree expression. And so there you have it. That is how to determine the degree of a term or expression.